I've been reading some of your messages, your emails, your Snapchat uh, snaps or whatever you call them, uh, Instagram stuff. You guys want us to work on more snowmobiles, more pit bikes, more motorcycles. So that's what we're coming at you with today. I got my buddy Valhalla Mike coming over to work on his sled because his sled's been having some troubles. Uh, I'll fill you in more after the intro. Mike's gonna be here less than 10 minutes and we'll, uh, we'll start this up then. So here we go, whoa. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up? Hey. Good to see you. <laughs> you ready to do this thing? Yeah. You want to tell them what's up? Well, maybe we'll show them. Probably the clutch. It could be. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Cheap. Cheap. Do you want to you want to just ride it over? Yeah. And we can show them exactly what it's doing. Yeah. So we actually have double incentive to do this because not only did you guys request it, or you request more working on stuff videos, but... Mike's gonna be <laughs> sugaring this year, and uh, a lot of you guys, I'm assuming, don't know how the whole sugaring operation works. So we get this going; it's easier to collect the sap. So uh, double cool incentive. Feel, yeah. Maybe we'll make a video of that. Yeah, exactly. You guys gotta let us know in the comments if we should make a video of it. Mike and I were talking about it, but uh, we're not sure if you guys are into it. So you guys gotta let us know. So clearly, the sled hasn't started in some time. There's no footprints even around it. It's coated. We haven't started this sled in what four months? It's been a long time. And it doesn't have a choke, and it's about 15 <laughs> degrees out. It's Fahrenheit. Yeah. So we're going to try to get this uh, fired up with no choke. Let's see. Everybody's favorite game again. Last time. How many poles? Last time, what happened? I botched the job and didn't turn the key on. <laughs> hey, look at all this snow. I was just telling them we got snow last night, and we're supposed to be getting 12 more inches tomorrow. No. Yeah, it's true. No. Don't say that. <laughs> I got a rip in my seat. Who did that? This thing's frozen in the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna give this a kick bump here. That's frozen too. <laughs> okay, let's get some pliers for that. Let's let's tell him what the problem oh, is. He wanna know what happened. Choke lever busted. Jeremy and I were riding two up and he had Travis's big old generator <laughs> on his lap. So I was driving eating my knees and you know 50 50 shot of my knee turning the key, turning it off, <laughs> or my knee busting the choke lever off. I did it both of them. Yeah, you, you busted it. That's that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> there hey, it bungee and eye catcher. <laughs> you got the vice grips and a bungee. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're definitely going to get this started now. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, if this isn't frozen, you got to take a knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got the choke now. All right. Oh, yeah, three poles. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have the infamous ZR600 right here, which it needs a lot of work, honestly. Does that run? It does not run right now. It needs a lot of work, but maybe in the future, if you guys like these videos, we'll break into the ZR, which will probably be like a three video project. <laughs> break it free. Break it free. <laughs> oh, we have the chip at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got it. We got it. We'll probably get the other one. Yeah. Do you want to pull it with your Jeep? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're going to pull it with the Jeep. Oh, he's going for it. Hey, it's free now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so if you guys listen closely, let's see if we can hear it. There's like a uh, plastic on plastic noise. had to step away so you guys can hear me but what the issue is right now something with the track uh, could be the clutch as well 
Um, but we hear like this plastic on plastic grinding noise. Right now it's not happening, I don't know why. I don't know, I can't hear it right now, but. Yeah, so some plastic on plastic grinding noise whenever he gives it some throttle, uh, usually when he's going uphill. Which he's trying right now and it's not doing anything. So I don't know. All right, so Mike's out ripping around. I decided I'm gonna go take it for a rip and uh, try and show you guys what it's doing exactly. Is it still still acting fine? Yeah, I don't know. You see if you can tell anything. I'll take it for a rip. Uh, let's see. I do feel a bit of rumbling underneath the uh, the old seat. But I haven't been on Mike's sled for a while, so... Oh uh, yeah, I definitely notice it. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Oh yeah, you guys can hear it now. It's definitely still acting up though. I'm sure Mike can hear it too. Do you hear it? Yeah. It's happening now. I think I broke some ice out of the yeah. track. So you want to bring it inside? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. that, that's what it's doing. So those guys can hear it. That's what it's doing. Doesn't sound good, does it? Something's grinding. Huh? Something's grinding. You want to bring it inside? So yeah, it's definitely doing what it used to do. Yeah. Maybe it was frozen with ice and all right well we got it in there it definitely seemed like it's down on the track yeah okay let me take my helmet off it seemed like that clutch was driving the main pulley and then oh. down there it was skipping while that was turning so so uh yeah it could be your your cog drive and yeah judging by the way that it was running fine until you broke some ice out of it it's got to be down near the track yeah so that yeah. would mean our chain case is probably okay. Yeah, you would not skipping hope so. in there, it would have done it the whole time. Yeah. Taking the track off, Check the right? bearings. We To do that, we have to take the uh, engine out. chain case off. Uh -huh. You have to take the whole chain case off. If it has two, you have to take the chain and the gears off. Uh -huh. You have to take the Speedo. Um, oh, that doesn't work. Well, I mean, we could do it. Okay. And then there's only, it should be four bolts to take the suspension off. So one, two. I don't know if there's another one over there. So four bolts to take the suspension off. Yeah. And I mean, it's gonna take some time, but it's a pretty easy job, I think. Let's do it then. All right, we'll shut the door. We all set with this. I'll shut the door. <laughs> Boom. All right, it is now very dark in here. All right, so we couldn't, here, I'll help you one second. <laughs> we couldn't get a uh, anything to lift it up, so we're gonna try and lift it on its side just to see if we can see that if anything's worn underneath. We got the nice light out. I think I'll just pick it from there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Is that good? Yep. Can you hold good. it there? Okay. See anything? So the drive cogs uh -oh. are a bit. <laughs> <laughs> are they worn? They are worn. No doubt. Okay. Oh, I see the problem. Uh oh, you see it? Oh yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Tell them. The uh, the cogs are on a shaft, and that shaft is broken. The shaft is broken. So the cogs are just sitting in there. Seriously? Yeah. Man, I want to see this. The shaft, the whole shaft is is broken. Shear off. Yep. Wow, that would be the issue. <laughs> <laughs> that would be it. So, Jeremy, I'm gonna hold the sled, and you come take it. Okay. Look at yeah, I want to see the, this. The side near you is the side that's actually busted. So, let's see if we can. I, it didn't look quite square at first. Uh, let's see. So, you see how the. <laughs> I, I can't even show it to him, but look at this. I can actually move that with just a finger 
and you can see how it's totally just crooked. <laughs> it's a... so what must have happened was riding two up coming down those hills, compressing the suspension completely. The tension of the suspension broke that it off. Just busted it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is definitely the problem. Yeah. See that? You that, see the end of the shaft? That's where it's broken. Oh, it's just rounded. <laughs> oh, man. that's bad, dude. <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> Okay, let me try and see if I can get my camera in there to show you. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see the rounded end of the shaft here. Oh, man. I guess start taking it apart. Yeah, well, I'll do these four bolts and see what happens. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to set this down. Yep. Have you guys ever seen anything like this? Have you seen that shaft broken like that? I've never seen it. Maybe you guys have. Uh, it's definitely uh, it's not good. We'll see what we can do, but in the comments, I want to know. First of all, do you think it's going to, we're going to fix it? And second of all, have you guys ever seen it before? If I get a new shaft or whatever, this this track and cog would still ride out a decent life. Probably. Because they're not totally busted. Yeah. I bet you could find that um, shaft on eBay for 50 bucks or so. Yeah. Used. Uh, the whole cog and shaft was like 78 bucks on eBay that yeah. day. So, so hey, if, maybe, we can, if, if that's the only thing wrong. As long as nothing else got busted in the process, I think you'll, you'll be good. There's your Speedo cable, which explains why it's not working. Yeah. It didn't work from the beginning. Yeah. Maybe this was broken for a long time. Yeah. I, I bet the gears in that Speedo and it just sheared off. Yeah. Completely. Maybe that's why the guy sold it to you. <laughs> Yank that belt out of there. At least these are all greased up. No, the problem is nobody ever did that grease fitting. Yeah. Yeah, they we did, did see that grease twice fitting. a winter. This thing would still be driving. Yeah. I guarantee nobody's greased that since day one of the sled. Yeah. 18 years ago, and it just ran dry and wore out. And people. Most people don't even grease their suspensions on their cars. Yeah. They I drive know. them for 10 years and then sell them on Craigslist without ever changing a differential or a grease fitting. Or... Oh, you're, sometimes your primary cables have this square end. So if you put it in the light, you know, that's all rusted up. So that's not good. That means there's water in there. And then I'm going to pull the uh, the bearing right out here now. Okay, pull it out. Let's see it. This is, oh, this is the bearing cover. But oh. As, <laughs> oh. as you can see, no, oh, that's warm. Nobody has greased that in a while. So yeah, it looks like there was a roller ball bearing in here. And it's completely destroyed. <laughs> and there's no ball bearing. <laughs> how, how does that come out? I don't know. It's sitting crooked too. It's, in, it's like tilted this way. And the bearing? When the shaft yanked out of it. Oh man. Yeah. Let's take a look at the, oh man. <laughs> oh. Doesn't that look good? That's where the shaft came out of it. That is terrible, man. You know, nobody greased it. Just going like this the whole time, <laughs> chattering. And then hit one jump and then <laughs> right out of there. That, I have never seen a bearing so destroyed. <laughs> I have. That is mangled. Wow. There's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so a new bearing, we'll put that thing and get a new shaft. Yeah. We got, now we gotta take the chain case apart. Yeah. And then we have to see about the suspension. You guys will probably see the rebuild in the second half of this video. Yeah, if you guys want to see that, let us know in the comments. Um, I love making these videos. I like working on stuff. And I, I think you guys do too. But uh, what we need to do now is take that chain case off. Oh yeah. Well first the exhaust yeah, off and then, right. and then the chain case. And uh, we'll go from there. So whenever you take the, the chain case apart, you're gonna leak about eight ounces of fluid. So we got a nice lucky. we got a nice lasagna pan, which we comes in handy <laughs> every time we're doing something. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this before. Um, one thing that Mike and I have been thinking about doing instead of videos like this, we've been thinking about doing tutorials and how tos and stuff. Uh, so if you guys think that's a good idea, drop it down in the comments. Yeah. We're thinking about starting another channel for that, keeping this one for like the vlogs and stuff. But uh, let us know. So when you're removing the covers of chain cases and th and whatever, you use a, a dead blow hammer. It's got the soft plastic so you don't break anything. All you do is you give it a little tap and then you pull it away. See that? And then all the oil oh, drips out. Yeah. 
And then yeah, it does have that. Uh, there you go. That there. So now Mike's just loosening up the tension so we can get the chain off. And then we can pull the gears off after that. This, these things come off easy. So, let's just check the go. gear teeth. Yeah, how do they look? These look okay, Ox. You know, for a used sled, I think this is gonna go back in. Yeah. We'll go, we'll, we'll keep this too. I don't think anything was damaged here except this uh, bearing. So we gotta take the bolts off the tunnel, drop the suspension, and uh, yank this, uh, yank the drive out of there, and we'll uh, order a new one. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like, we'll order a new one, and that'll be that. And then we'll uh, do a video, if you guys want us to, <laughs> of us putting this all back together. Um, yeah. So let's do that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got it. Look at that, man. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It's a popsicle, dude. So I need a new one of these. Yeah, you need the uh, shaft there. And all the bearings. Because that was off. And this this was, was the only one trying to drive it. So yeah. it was sitting like this in the snowmobile, going like this. Yeah. And this is just grinding into things. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. There we go. There we go. We got your track. Let's see how your track's doing. It's doing good. Is it doing good? It's just, it's not a deep track. You so still got sucks. all your studs. It sucks for around Vermont because we go in the deeps now. But it does okay. Yeah. Low Look at rider. this. <laughs> it is a low rider. <laughs> so, we got the suspension out. Uh, chain case is taken apart. We got uh, the track here. We, everything's taken apart. Everything is done. Now what? You gotta go on eBay and you gotta find your parts. Yeah. Bearings and shaft. That's right. And then, if you guys wanna see it, let us know in the comments if you wanna see us putting this all back together again. It's gonna happen um, probably in like I don't know, a week, week and a half or so, once Mike gets the parts. And uh, yeah, so let us know in the comments. Look at this, it's just destruction everywhere. I like the picture of it all crooked. The <laughs> yeah. Man. Hey, so far, that's all that's wrong with it. So it's a pretty easy fix. Probably like, yeah. we'll say, uh, not including time, 70 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for under 100 with shipping. Yeah. So I don't know if the bearings come with these. Yeah, so I mean, still good news, still pretty cheap. Um, yeah, I'm glad it was it was that, not something more serious, or you didn't wreck more stuff in the process. Anyways, guys, that is that. We're gonna leave this thing as it lies until we get the parts to fix it. Let us know again if you wanna see it, and uh, we'll probably say goodbye for now. If you guys wanna hit up our social media sites, it's in the description, Valhalla Mike, taking down Instagram. Uh, if you want to hit me up on Facebook, that'd be really awesome. It'd mean a lot to me. Um, everything's down in the description. Just check it out. Uh, what do you got to say, Mike? Share the video. Share the video. Yeah, guys. If you can share this video, share any videos you see. It really helps us out a lot. Um, yeah, it would mean a lot to me. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Mike, you got anything to say? There'll be more destruction. There'll be more destruction, yeah. Some repairs and then more destruction. Okay, guys. So, that's it. You want to kaboom it? You do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. Kaboom, kaboom.